I'm Casey Donovan, and happy Friday, people. Here at The Space, our Friday theme is We Made It, where we give you mindfulness tips to celebrate and forgive. It might sound like an easy command, just celebrate. But a lot of us can struggle to celebrate our own achievements. Whether it's a good workout we had, a win at work, or setting healthy boundaries with friends or family. It can feel uncomfortable to pause and applaud. It feels conceited, arrogant, self-serving, and also risky. What if we celebrate and then it all turns to shit? So we skip over our wins and move on to the next thing. But in doing so, there are downsides. We can never feel satisfied. The musician and mental health advocate Jewel talked about this in an interview with Dax Shepard on his podcast, Armchair Expert. Throughout Jewel's career, she's never stopped to celebrate. And... It's also a bit of a bummer, she says. She compares it to eating refined sugar. When you eat refined sugar, your saliva tells your brain what you're about to eat. It thinks you're about to get a hit of nutrients. But you don't, because it's refined sugar. That's why you continue to crave more and more. The same is true of success, according to Jewel. Celebrations let you know, we did it. We made it. We can relax now. We don't have to strive for anything else, just yet. Psychologically, it's enough and you feel satisfied, says Jewel. Then you can move on to the next thing, when you genuinely feel that hunger again. If you're someone who struggles to celebrate, It's a simple mindset trick. Celebrating isn't indulgent. It's actually productive. It also allows you to stop and acknowledge your win, so you can reap the rewards of success, rest and reset. If we don't celebrate, we miss out on the goodness of striving so hard in the first place. I'm Casey Donovan, and this is The Space. Tune in this evening for a tip for self-forgiveness. This one is for anyone planning to have a few drinks tonight. Space out. Space out.